from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Wednesday, December the 1st, 2021. The New York Police Department's Hate Crimes Unit is looking for three women suspected of assaulting two Jewish children and a Jewish teenager in Brooklyn, New York. The task force shared surveillance images of the women and noted that the victims were all dressed in traditional Jewish attire. The first attack was Friday when a three-year-old boy was slapped in the face. Then on Saturday, an 18-year-old girl was pulled to the ground and moments later, a nine-year-old boy was slapped on the head. The Anti-Defamation League of New York and New Jersey announced a reward for up to $10,000 for information leading to the arrest and conviction of those responsible. Regional Director Scott Richmond said, we are outraged by this string of attacks targeting Jewish children and youth. The ADL is offering this award, he said, to send a clear message that hate-motivated violence is absolutely unacceptable. A public menorah in Queens, New York, was targeted just before Hanukkah. Queens Assemblyman David Weprin said yesterday on Saturday, November the 27th, one day before Hanukkah, the large menorah at Union Turnpike and 220th Street, which is the Hollis Hills neighborhood, was knocked down and its lights broken. Hanukkah, he said, is a time of peace and joy. I gathered with civic and religious leaders today to state that no acts of anti-Semitism will ever be tolerated. Among those who joined Weprin yesterday, State Senator John Liu, who wrote, Our community will never waver in our determination to fight back against hatred and division in any form. A similar incident, by the way, took place at the same location back in 2014. The World Squash Federation has canceled the World Men's Team Squash Championships that were scheduled for next week in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, because Malaysian authorities will not let Israeli athletes enter the country to compete. The Federation's president, Zina Waldridge, thanked the International Olympic Committee and the Olympic Council of Malaysia for their unwavering efforts to ensure the ability of all participating teams, including Israel, to enter Malaysia and compete without any political discrimination. But the Federation said it had to cancel due to the lack of confirmation over the issuing of visas and travel authorizations by the national authorities, also noting concerns about the new coronavirus variant. Israel and Malaysia do not have diplomatic ties and Israelis are barred from entering the country. The ADL wrote, shame on the Malaysian government for its continued refusal to grant Israeli athletes visas, saying the Federation did the correct yet unfortunate thing by canceling this tournament, sending the important message that sports must never be politicized. Israel's President Isaac Herzog met today with representatives of the reform and conservative movements in Israel to discuss the implementation of a plan for an egalitarian prayer section at the Kotel, the Western Wall in Jerusalem's Old City, a plan that has been on hold for several years. The president's office said Herzog heard the opinions and suggestions of the different movements and reiterated that he strives to calm the tensions in order to prevent senseless hatred, also condemning all manifestations of physical and verbal violence, referring there to some ultra-Orthodox protesters who threaten reform and conservative prayer groups at the Kotel. The president's office said the Kotel is a holy site to which the whole Jewish people look to in Israel and around the world, and that there is a need for responsibility, restraint, and efforts to find ways for all parts of our nation in Israel and the diaspora to move forward peacefully. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Wednesday, December the 1st. At 7 o'clock, it's Talmud Study. At 7.30 for Jewish Book Month, author Michael Schneerson reads excerpts and discusses his book, Bugsy Siegel, the Dark Side of the American Dream, in a program of the Hampton Synagogue with Rabbi Avraham Bronstein. At 8, it's a concert celebrating Divan's album release of Shalhevet, with Iranian-descended singer Galit Dardashti leading the all-female Middle Eastern Jewish ensemble. At 9 o'clock, Mark Golub sits down with Israeli singer Noah on Lechaim. At 10, a look at the opening reception for Light and Shadows, an exhibit on Iran Jewry. 
And at 10.30, we replay our Hanukkah candle lighting tonight with Fran Klagsburn joining Mark Golub to light the fourth candle. And coming up next, it's Thinking Out Loud. And a reminder for you that you can join JBS every evening for the Hanukkah candle lighting at 5.30 Eastern Time. And that's the JBS News Update for Wednesday, December the 1st, 2021. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well, and happy Hanukkah.